Hi. Hi. I'm that guy. I'm him. I am him. I am him. Behind a wall. The cast off 762 is the highest damage dealing assault rifle out of the base assault rifles in Modern Warfare 2. In order to make the best cast off 762 class setup, we're going to be focusing on boosting its recoil control, its accuracy, its handling, and its mobility. As always, we will talk about the attachments I use to do that, but before we do that, I post class setups and other Call of Duty videos to this channel daily. It would mean a lot to me if you would consider leaving a like and subscribing down below, but let's look at the class. If you guys are returning viewers, you know I think the 50GS is the best pistol in this game, so we have the 50GS as my secondary, FJX Diad 70 Laser, SA Long Shot 50 Barrel, SA Hair Trigger Action 13 Round Mag, GS 50 Wood Grain Rear Grip. The tactical, as always, is a stun, lethal is a Simtex perk package, one is double time, battle hardened, fast hands, quick fix, these perks are honestly just the best for pubs. Field upgrades are dead silence and munitions box. And now on to the cast off 762. Now I said we are going to try to speed up the weapon with its handling and mobility, Normally that means we're gonna start off the laser sight, but this is the first time ever we're not gonna have a laser And that's because the other attachments I've chosen really work well together But with that said we are starting off with a rear grip We have the true tack grip and this is a sprint to fire and aim down sight speed attachment with a little bit of a hit to recoil But the other attachments will balance that out and then coming into the rear grip tuning We do have this tuned for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed The sprint to fire is negative 0.3 inches for the width and the aim down sight speed is negative 0.45 ounces now going up to the stock, we have the Markeev R7 stock. This is crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aimed on sight speed with another little hit to our recoil control, but like I said, we will fix that. Some other options you could go with if you don't like this stock necessarily. You have the cast off Rama stock. This is aim walking speed and sprint speed with less of a hit to our aiming stability and recoil. And then you have the ProLite TL3 stock. This is a bigger buff to your mobility, but more of a hit to your recoil and stability. This is the stock I said worked really well for the RPK, but that's because that gun basically has no recoil, so there's more of a trade-off there. In my opinion, I do think the Markeev is the better option for the Kastov 762, and particularly this build. And then coming into the stock tuning, and this is going to be a good example of what I have to talk about in a second, this is actually going to be tuned for aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. These numbers are not right, these are actually going to be tuned for negative 0.3 and then negative 2. Now I talked about this in yesterday's video, these numbers are always going to be goofy because sometimes the tunings just don't save as the numbers you set them as, and I'll show you what I mean in a second, because the aim down sight speed number I have is actually supposed to just be negative 2 and the aim walking speed is supposed to be negative 0.35 but if I make this negative 2 and I make this negative 0.35 and then I click out and then I come back in it resets to what the numbers just were and then it's not going to save for whatever reason some of the tunings just don't save as the numbers you set them as just keep that in mind like i said it's not going to make that big of a difference if any difference at all going forward to the barrel we have the 342 millimeter saken kl barrel this is the aim down sight speed and movement speed barrel with some hip recoil control with a lot of downsides but these downsides actually just don't really matter the damage range hit is not really a hit at all the gun is still going to be a three to four shot kill at any distance and the recoil control is going to be fixed with the other two attachments we have coming up and then coming into the barrel tuning the aim down sight speed is actually correct with negative 0.3 inches and then the recoil steadiness is kind of right that's supposed to just be 0.2 Coming down to the under barrel, this is where we're going to get the majority of our aiming stability and our recoil stabilization back. We're losing some aim down sight speed, a little bit of walking speed, but the walking speed is meh. The aim down sight speed, we've gotten most of that from the other attachments, so this is a pretty good balance point for the entire weapon. Coming into the tuning, the aiming idle stability is plus 0.25. The recoil stabilization is just supposed to be plus 0.4. And then finally, for the muzzle, we have the Saken Tread 40. This is plus two vertical and horizontal recoil control with another hit to our aiming down sight speed but again meh i have it tuned for recoil stabilization and gun kick control these things are both off by 0 0.01 they're both just supposed to be 0 0.2 and here is a look at all five attachments at the end of the road um i wouldn't really recommend changing any of the attachments i gave you options for the stock if you don't like the marquee but i think the marquee is pretty much the best option for this particular build but if you guys give this class a try come back to the comment section let me know if it's good bad or if you had fun using it i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do please consider leaving that like and subscribing to the channel that is the easiest way to support the channel hope you guys have a great day after this video ends i'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video boys and girls pizza wow that guy almost got me i would have tried
Never mind, they're all TAC. 56 players. I've never seen that before. You're like a fucking annoying cat, dude. Like, just stop. Wasn't even. I'm that guy. I'm him. I am him. I am him. <laughs> You're him. I am Himmy Neutron. Himothy. He's Himothy Neutron, dude. They finally got me. Um, here's an advance, by the way. Yeah, uh, your tac 56s aren't so strong now, are they? My gun is better. It's why it got banned. <laughs> Oh shit, these guys are spawning here? Big dog. Fuck! Oh. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> what the hell? The Basilisk is like that, bro. There's no shot he has the 50 round drum bag on the SO14 in single fire mode. Bro, it goes full auto. Nah, I was gonna tell him, I was gonna tell him. Oh. Casing. That guy's outside, I think. Safari, brother. <laughs> you can't be losing gunfights like that with the pack. Oh, Safari's ass, bro. He almost let me do it to him. Did let me do it to him? Got another? Oh, nah. I'm him. Damn, they shot it down. Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> I have another one. <laughs> That guy got on top of the fire truck and thought he was slick. Oh, final stand! Final stand! Safari's so back there, he's gonna die to you. Yeah, he is. I'm getting shot at by his buddy, though. These guys are lost. Actually lost. I am snapping. This is a legal activity. I'm going to prison. That's you. Ain't no way y'all letting me target swap on controller, right? I have another VTOL. There's no f shot. <laughs> he was waiting for me on the flank and still lost the gunfight. Absolutely tragic. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh no, if he would've... If you hit a headshot, this thing actually seems like a cheat code. Take off final stand, bug. Have some respect. I know it's a word you don't understand, but... Like, have some respect. Oh no, he lost that gunfight. I hit the headshot. 67. Coincidentally, the exact same kills I had with my M4. <laughs> Did I have the exact same KD I had with my M4? I think so, yeah. You went 67, 